Perhaps some more Indian joy to come here in the women's doubles because Joala Gutta and Ashwani Ponapa, the Golden Girls from the Commonwealth Games of 2010, take on Ava Lay and Paula Obanyana of America. There is uh, Gutta and Ponapa. I'm not sure what was more entertaining there, AJ's performance or the coach on the sideline, but whatever way, it's another seed that's gone in the men's singles after the number five seed went earlier on today. These are two pairs who aren't seeded in the women's doubles. Leon Abanyana, 34 in the world. Guta and Ponapa ranked 21. Okay, you don't serve. Which side? So it's going to be uh, Eva Lee who will serve first when this game does get underway. Well, they've never met before, these four players. And they know should they come through, they've got a tough match to come. But I don't think they'll be thinking about the number two seeds in Chen Wen, the Sing and Chen Yu Chin just yet. Here's Guta and Ponapa. They feel the draw has been fairly favourable. That's what they've been saying uh, ahead of this. Their coach has been saying they need to cut down on the negatives because after that glittering 2010, Joe, it's not been quite as golden in 2011. No, and that's reflected in their win-loss record for this year. Negative, only six wins to ten losses and uh, we're ranking at 21. I mean, of course, there was such euphoria, wasn't there, in Delhi last year when they won that gold medal in the women's doubles. And since then, I mean, of course, there's, you know, when you have a wonderful result like that as a player, you, you're bound to have a down period afterwards because you can't keep that level of euphoria going at a constant on a plateau for, for that length of time. It's, it's a human reaction. You tend to have a bit of a low afterwards. But, you know, I, I think that, to be honest, they've come up against some difficult pairs in, in the draw. And I, I can understand why they're fairly happy with the draw here because despite being number two seeds i think chen wen sing and chen yu chin have been struggling of late in world badminton both the players really struggling with their low serves and and therefore whoever wins this match has got a reasonable chance well this is uh, leo obanyana who have made it through to the second round in uh, two of their last three events they uh, won the brazil international badminton cup last october lee who is Born in Hong Kong on the left-hand side, or Banyana on the right-hand side. A pairing you know much about, Jill? Come across before too many times? I've followed their results uh, a, a lot. I wasn't in Canada or the US Open, but I've, I've been following the events online and so on. So I, their names keep coming up. Yeah. And I, of course, watch them at the... Um, Uber Cup finals in Kuala Lumpur last year. So, yes, I've seen them, but I don't know an awful lot uh, about them. But, of course, we both were at the Commonwealth Games in India. It should be stressed. That's where Joala Gutu and Ashwini Ponapa won, which is why it was such a big deal. They were in Delhi. Uh, it's uh, Ivanka Pokorin, who is the umpire. And there's uh, Lavrin's Best of South Africa, the service judge. They took a little bit of time out of the game, I think, for a, a little period after the euphoria. And it's, in fact, that euphoria still goes on because I know uh, Joala's just won a big award in India, hasn't she? Highest sports award that you can possibly win. She's been nominated for it, and I'm, I don't think she's actually received it yet, but, but she's the, going to. Yes. The fact she was nominated. And Ashwini Ponapa there, she kind of looks a deceptive, aren't they? She has that sort of Bambi look around about her, but she's, she's pretty vicious with the way she plays sometimes. They're in a very aggressive pair, aren't they? Yes, they are, and, and uh, uh, the left-hander, Joala Guta, uh, she will look to come forward to the net whenever possible. She's a wonderful mixed doubles player. She was in the quarter-final of the mixed doubles when uh, the World Championships were played in Hyderabad two years ago, and uh, you know, she's been missing from the mixed doubles because, of course, Diju Valiavitil has had this minor back surgery and uh, therefore she's been concentrating on the women's doubles and perhaps has lost a, a bit of confidence because she hasn't had the two events to play of late. He's back now, though, isn't he? He is, So yes. uh, they, they will be playing in the mixed doubles. And she's the boss, isn't she, of the pair? She's in charge. Definitely. <laughs>
<laughs> as you will probably see over the next half an hour or so, depending how long this game goes on for. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Eva Lee, Paula Lynn Obanyana, USA. On my left, Juala Gota Ashwini Ponapa, India. Eva Lee to serve to Juala Gota. La ball, play. Well, is it more Indian celebrations on this show called on day one of the 2011 World Championships? Oh, not a bad opening rally. One love. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, early signs of the uh, aggression of this Indian pair. Shwini Ponapa driving it back. I think when they looked at the draw as well, we mentioned how they thought it was... They looked for the Chinese pairs. And the fact that they don't meet any of those early on gives them a chance to, you know, try and build up some momentum here. Obviously, it uh, could be a close run thing here. But you have to feel they are the favourites to succeed in this, this match-up against the Americans. Yes, I do. I think, um, I think both the Indian players have got a full array of shots. I think they're both very skillful players, and the, the only thing that pairs would have to do to break them down is to get them out of their favourite formation. Sorry, and because Joala Gutter is so Four, good at the front of the court, and she wants to go to the front, tactically, when you're playing against her, you could also try and get her to the back. And the thing that impresses me is that they complement each other so well four. as a pair, because Ponapa, she's got she's only a slight athlete but she's got a very good smash but more importantly she places it so well she often plays the channel attack down the center of the court and that narrows the angle of reply and therefore just saw a good example right yes here, yeah. yeah her left-handed partner can try and intercept it didn't come over the net that, but she was ready and waiting that's right yeah no it was, you were illustrating the point as she actually yeah. played the shot Smash. Service over three six. Four six. with herself there she's rather good to but happy with her playing partner putting away the smash service over seven four yeah that's just a classic rally as far as the Indian pair are concerned. Joala Gutta smashing from the back of the court, immediately moving forward to the net. Her partner playing the channel attack down the centre and the left hand is ready and waiting to finish it off from the front of the court. Yeah, they're looking very good so Nine, far. Four. All going according to plan for India. Service over. Five, nine. Yeah, powerful smash, isn't it? That's what I meant by lips can be deceptive. Yeah. Ten, 
why? Why is, I mean, uh, it may not be a, a simple question. You can answer that. Why is she able to, despite a slight frame, able to create that much power? 11, Technique and timing. Five, two simple things. It's uh, hitting the shuttle in badminton is not about power. It's all about technique and timing. And if you if you look when she's going to hit overhead, the rotation of the shoulders is quite pronounced. But the real thing is the pronation of the forearm. As she's hitting the shuttle, she's really turning that forearm and cracking against the shuttle. And that creates the extra pace. Very, very good technique and, of course, very good timing. Well, 11 5 the advantage then at the interval here for Guru and Ponapo in just a mere four minutes it took to take those 11 points. And they'll be very happy so far. A lot of work ahead here for Leona Banyana to get themselves back in this match. There's Joana Gutter, one of the few players in World Badminton that uses the forehand serve in doubles. Twelve, five. And normally that's seen as a, a bit of a weakness, but 13, not the way she serves it. Five. That's absolutely correct. She's got a lovely serve. And, and when she's as accurate and, uh, as she is with her forehand serve, why would you change it? Sure. Well, it's around the four straight points. comes to an end. Service over 6 14. Out. Service over 15 6. Well, they felt that the practice had gone well. The uh, national coach, uh, Gopijan, believed that Out. they could really go well Service this week, this pair, despite uh, obviously 16. not being seeded. Just said so they have to cut down on the negatives. In other words, cut out the mistakes. Haven't been too many unforced errors so far from them. Say the same about Service the uh, opposite pair, though. 17 7. Eighteen seven. Nineteen seven. Yeah, well, she's disappointed with that. Eight, nine, it was a lot more difficult shot to play. She was at full stretch on the backhand side. Nine, nine <laughs> Just couldn't get so out of the way quick enough there. Twenty game points. So game points nine. and lots of them for Joala Gutta and Ashwini Ponapa. according to plan high fives hats on the back when I mean, they deserve them because it's been almost to perfection the way this match has gone so far and they've taken the opening game 21-9 
It's it's been pretty faultless from them. A bit disappointing from the uh, Americans' perspective, though. But you know, you can't take anything away from what they've done so far. No, because I don't think that the Indian pair have really allowed the Americans into it. I think they've been so sharp and so uh, tactically astute, doing the right things, taking the shuffle early, hitting in the right places, that they really haven't allowed their opponents into it. to there on the right of your picture she's uh, very much uh, been in the spotlight over the last 12 months not just for what she's done on the court off the court as well she was uh, married of course to an Indian badminton player Chet and Anand and they've recently divorced and there's been all kinds of press speculation linking her with one player from uh, world of cricket which uh, I think they denied but uh, she's certainly been in the headlines, but she doesn't shy away from it. She, uh, I think she relishes being in the spotlight. And at the moment, they're halfway to booking themselves a place in the second round against second the number two seats. Level play. One. Love. Yes, I think one of the things that the American pair has got to do a little better is their return of serves. Kind of feel for them a little Love. bit out on the court at the moment because the, I'm sure they can play a lot better than this. As we said, we haven't seen that much of them from uh, their play over the last few years, but obviously to get to a, a world ranking of 34. You have to get to a certain standard. There have been a lot of errors in their game here. Maybe maybe a bit of nerves, you know. It's a, a step up, obviously, playing in the World Championships. Yes, and we've alluded to it earlier in the day, talking about how important this is, not just because it's a World Shall Championship, so but, you know, one points from four. this towards World Rankings uh, will have a big effect on who qualifies for the Olympic Games next year and of course this is the Olympic venue and so all the players here getting a taste of what it would be like to play in an Olympic Games venue and you know big big points for world championships you know so this is absolutely desperate and you've got to remember of course that as far as the Olympic Games is concerned as with here every continent has to be represented in each discipline so for this american pair you know if they were to win this first round match you know i know that it looks unlikely at the moment but that Sir would Tova, give them huge two, points towards three. being the qualifiers from the american continent sure. so you know this this is far more important than and i'm I, than just a first round match and i know that sounds as if i'm belittling the world championships but you know, Service this has over. got double Four. the emphasis on all the players. Yeah, there's there's more than one goal, put it that way, yes. for, for getting yeah. through the first round. Yeah. Because the ranking points Five. that are on offer this week Four. obviously are going to be higher than any of the other events that uh, Leon and Banyana are going to be playing over at least the next six months or so. They're not going to be playing in any of the Super Series events. Three, five. Uh, interesting that Howard Bark, who uh, lost earlier today in the men's doubles, former world champion, of course, he's sitting behind the court, helping with the coaching. Yeah, he had a disappointing game, didn't he, earlier on? Tony going to want there he is. Three on the left. Yeah, and he must be very disappointed. How good is that to see him here supporting teammates, not just supporting, but actually helping them in this match? That's, that shows, you know, we are an individual sport, but that shows good team spirit, doesn't it? Mm. No sulking. Of course, you know, to have him and, and Tony in the team so is vital, really, for the Americans, because, you know, six. these are guys that have 
been there and done it, got world championship titles, Olympic titles behind them. Case you're wondering Seven. what all the noise is about. Some, you know, obviously there are four courts inside the uh, Wembley Arena, as you can see there. So not all the action necessarily from a crowd perspective is always focused on the show Eight, court. Five. for you well you know something we touched on with well, I touched on with Mawson earlier about the world championships the fact that it's being held every year are you in favor of that or were you one that prefers the fact that it was every two years or every three years as it has been in the past there's two ways of looking at it you know if, if you're a player you get a chance every year to win a world title but the whole point in life is that things that are rare are more precious you know, so an Olympic title, you only get the opportunity once every so four years. Over. That's a fleeting opportunity. Seven, and for most ten. athletes in most sports, to be at your physical peak for more than one Olympic Games is pretty tough. And women's gymnastics, virtually Eight, impossible. Sure. It, it doesn't happen. It can happen in badminton. We've seen it happen in badminton. And that's what makes the Olympics so special because it, it is once only four years. And I do wonder, whether some players, whether the mystique, the, whether the, the honour of winning a world title has been diminished Nine, by the fact ten. that it is every year now, apart from Olympic year. So we have three world championships every four years. And but the way you can look at that converse is it's great to have the calibre of players that you have almost guaranteed on a, on a yearly basis, you know, the, obviously the Olympics and then Service on the other over, years with the 11, World Championships. And I think today, interval. as we go to the mid-game interval, I think we've seen beyond any shadow of a doubt how important it is to have that annual opportunity because with players like Kevin Corden from Guatemala, when else does he have an opportunity to play Chen Long? No. So, you know, this match, this women's doubles, the American pair playing against the Indian pair. The Indian pair are regulars on the Super Series circuit. So for the Americans, they don't often get a chance to play the caliber of, of the Indian players. There are so many matchups today where players who are not high enough in the world rankings are getting their opportunities. And, you know, sadly, I haven't had the opportunity to watch too much of the other courts because we've been concentrated here on court number one. But there have been a number of players who are lower rank to have really grasped that opportunity they've got had one opportunity this year and they've taken it they've shown they can be Eleven, some of the top players nine, in the world so it's play. very important for global development of badminton that we have these annual world championships i haven't really answered your question have i it's, well it's, there's maybe there isn't a, a a straightforward answer i don't think there is service over 10 11. That's nice. Service over, 12, yeah, Up to the left hand as forehand side. Time and time again. But it's the good placement of the smash from Bonapa. See, they're out of position there in terms of who was at the front and the back. For just one shot, immediately they got yes. reversed again. Yeah. You've 
got to know what works for you and, and play to it. Absolutely. So it's over 11, Absolutely 13. logical. Play to your strengths, play to your opponent's weaknesses, exploit their weaknesses, and use your strengths. Service over 14, 11. Yep, there she is. Looking for the push. 15, 11. Down her forehand side. It's a great serve. Couldn't follow it up, though. Service over. Look at disgust on the 15. face of Gutter, who says that Commonwealth Games win is history now. Time to start a new chapter. I'd like to make it a chapter worth reading here at the World Championships Service in London. Over. 16, 12. <laughs> yeah, this. Completely out of position. Obanyana. Twelve. Service over. Thirteen, eighteen. Well, that's a question of uh, when, not if, isn't it, regarding this match? So attacking, yeah. so convincing as well. Service over. And so inevitable, the outcome of the rally. 19, 14. Service over 15-19. Yeah, good smash again. Service over. So those are the five match points for point, Bonaparte. The American way 16, there. 20. Well, a missed opportunity, 17, but there are 20. others to come. Too late, you think, because there's the winning smash from Ashwini Ponapa. And for the second match in a row, it's Indian celebrations on court one. Twenty-one nine, twenty-one eighteen. The victory match margin. Won by Twala Guta, Ashwini Ponapa, twenty-one nine, twenty-one eighteen. So convincing up next for them is Chen Wen Sing and Chen Yu Chin. And as Jill was saying, the Chinese Taipei number two seeds haven't exactly been in greatest form. And given the display there from Ashwani Panapar and Juala Gutta, maybe a chance to progress further into the week here at the Wembley Indoor Arena for these world championships. No. 